Hi everyone, in this video, I will teach you how to find the sum and product of the roots of a quadratic equation without even finding what are the roots are, okay, of a quadratic equation. Um, we have formulas for that. Um, some of the roots, uh, that's negative b over a, okay, and then for the product of the roots, it's c over a. So basically, the first thing we just need to remember is that the quadratic equation should be in standard form. So let's have some examples. Um, find the sum of the product, sum and product of the roots of the quadratic equation. So here we will not be solving for the values of x here. So we will go straight uh, to find the sum and product of the roots. First thing we need to consider, I said earlier, I mentioned this earlier, that our quadratic equation should be in standard form. So here we need to subtract 6 on both sides. So this is x squared plus 5 5x minus 6 is equal to 0. So by the way, when we say standard form, the quadratic equation should be in this form. Okay. And then we need to identify a, b, and c. Our a here is 1. That's the numerical coefficient of x squared. Our b is 5. And our c is negative 6. Negative 6. So for the uh, sum of the roots, the formula is R1 plus R2 equals negative B over A, which means this is equal to negative 5 over 1, and that is equal to negative 5. All right. Now for the uh, product of the roots, that is C over A. Our C is um, negative 6 over 1. So the answer is equal to negative 6. Okay. Let's have another example. Again, we have an equation here, a quadratic equation that's not in standard form. So we need to transform this into standard form by subtracting 8 on both sides and also um, 3x. So we can cross that out. This will be um, 2x squared minus 3x minus 8 is equal to 0. So a is equal to positive 2. b is equal to negative 3. Okay, negative 3. And c is equal to negative 8. Okay, so for the sum of the roots... Um, that's R1 plus R2 equals negative B over A. So just focused on negative B over A because that's the formula that we will be using. We don't know the two roots, but the formula is important, the negative B over A. So negative negative 3 over A. <laughs> A is positive 2. This is 3 over 2. And that's the answer. For the uh, product of the roots, okay, so R1 times R2 is equal to C over A. Our C is negative 8, and our A is positive 2. So negative 8 over 2 is equal to um, negative 4. Okay, so that's the sum and then the, the, the product. Now, there are instances wherein I think you might encounter this kind of question. So, I will give you an example. So, for the following equation, one of the roots is given, and that is this. Find the other root, which means we need to find R1, this R2, and the unknown variable. So, the unknown variable here is C. So, first, let's identify A, B, and C. Again, C is we don't know. That's missing. Um, the first thing we will find here is, uh, solve here rather, is R1. So if C is missing, we will use the sum formula first. Okay, let's use the sum formula first so to solve for our R1. So R1 plus R2 is negative 4 over 3 equals negative negative 5 over 3. 
Next, every time we have an equation, um, I always mention this. Uh, every every time we have a fraction in an equation, we want this to look simpler by multiplying all the terms by whatever the denominator is. So here, the, our denominator is positive 3. So 3 times r1 is 3r1. Three, 3 times negative 4 over 3 is negative 4. So we can just cross that out. This will be, this will be equal to 5. And then we add 4 on both sides. This is 3. R1 equals 9. And finally, divided by 3 on both sides. Therefore, R1 is equal to positive 3. Okay. Now, let's solve for the, um, the value of C, which is the unknown variable here. So, this time, we will use the product formula. Our R1 is 3, our R2 is negative 4 over 3, our C is, the problem A is 3. So I think here what I will do is I can um, multiply that 3 and there's so many ways we can solve this. But let's say, let's multiply first 3 and negative 4 and that will give us negative 12 over 3 equals C over 3. And then we can multiply this by 3 on both sides because we have a, a, a fraction here. So we can cross that out, cross that out, and that will give us negative 12 equals C. Okay, let's go to the uh, last example. Another problem that you might encounter is this one. Um, this time B is missing, R sub 2 is missing. So if B is missing, the first formula that we will use is the product formula. Okay, so we know that A is positive 2, B is an unknown variable here, C is negative 4. Okay, so R1 is 1 half times R2 equals negative 4 over 2. Next, let's multiply 1 half and r sub 2. That's 1 r sub 2. Okay, I will emphasize that 1. Okay, equals negative 4 over 2. And then let's multiply this by positive 2. So we can cross that out. 1 r sub 2 is just simply r sub 2 equals negative 4. And that is the second root. Let's, next, let's find the uh, value of B. This time, we will be using the sum formula, which is negative B over A. So this is negative 4 times 1 half, right? Or 1 half times negative 4. Our R, R1 is 1 half. So times negative 4 equals negative B over that's plus, plus negative 4 equals negative B over positive 2. Oh, what happened? Let's go back there. Again, we have a uh, an equation here that has fractions. So let's simplify that by multiplying each term by positive 2. So that will be 1 plus negative 8. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 equals negative b. This is negative 7 equals negative b. And then divided by negative 1. b is equal to positive 7. Okay? So that's how we solve problems involving the sum and the product of the roots of a quadratic equation. I hope you learned something. See you in my next video.